Hi, I'm John Barry for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating some advanced uses of the Multicam workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro CS3. First, I'm going to build a typical Multicam project. Here are some clips that I got from an online Tori Amos music video competition. As you can see, there are five clips. Premiere Pro CS3 is limited to four camera angles, but I like to call them TV channels. I'll tell you why a little bit later on. So let's get started on a typical multicam project. I need to build a sequence that is a setup to use the multicam feature. So this setup sequence I'll name multicam MC setup. Make sure I have enough tracks for the video clips. Four channels would be perfect. I'm going to set only one audio channel here because we only need to hear one channel for sound as they are all happening simultaneously and are in sync. If I place each camera angle into these four video layers, one on top of the other, we have something like a TV with four channels of input all playing at the same time. When you change the channel, all four stations are still sending a signal. We're kind of listening to a CD player for the music, so that never changes no matter how many times we switch the channels on the TV. Alright, enough with the analogies. Once we have this setup sequence built, we need to place it inside, or, in other words, nest it in a new sequence, which I'll call the MC Edit for Multicam Edit. This is where the nest can become more than a compositing tool in Premiere Pro CS3. If I drop the setup sequence inside the multicam edit sequence, in other words nesting, and then select the setup sequence and go to clip multicam enable, we now have a tuner connected to the TV. If I go to the same menu function now, we can see our four channels and switch them like so. Each channel has its own precursor, MC1, MC2, MC3, MC4 for multicam and the number track that it's actually referencing. So we know what channel we're looking at. This is like getting up and switching the channel on the TV, sitting down then getting up and hitting the channel button on the TV again. Let's get the remote. Going into Window, Multicam, Monitor, we now have a remote that shows all the channels simultaneously and then we can see which channel has the best show on at any given point in time. So if we hit record here, then hit play, sit back, watch, and just click on whichever channel we find most interesting at any given point in time. Every time we make a cut, we see the result of that channel change on the monitor on the right, which is basically what our TV is showing us. So, I'm starting to hear some of you say, four TV channels. That sucks. Well, yeah, but think for a second about what happens on a TV channel. It has programs, news updates, commercials, yeah? And this is why I like to refer to multicam workflows in Premiere Pro CS3 as TV channels. Let's create a sequence for each TV channel. Cam01 sounds good for the first channel. Cam 02, so on and so forth, until we get to Cam 04. Let's put an entire clip into each station. So I'm basically doing what I did earlier, except each camera angle is actually inside a nest. So I'm kind of nesting in a nest, which will then be nested and then enabled into multicam. Sounds kind of confusing, but as you can see, it's actually not that hard to set up. Now, let's see if we can add some news updates over the boring bits of the TV show, or parts of the camera angle that are kind of useless. Cam 02 has got a boring bit here, so let's cover that in the video layer above it with the fifth clip I have over in the bin. This can be our news update, and our clip sample number has just gone into five. So now I'm sampling from five clips all I need to do here is decide what are my least favourite bits and replace them with ones I want to choose from. Then when it comes to my remote control, 
I can concentrate on which channel has the best show, news clip, etc., still focusing on four TV channels. Another cool thing about the Premiere Pro CS3 Multicam format is being able to work on the colour correction for the whole TV station. Or, if I went inside that sequence, I could work on each segment separately. We can also add titles, and as you can see, all this footage is green screened. I've gone and done the keying in After Effects. All I need to do here is import it and replace the original clip. Or I could place it on top in another track. Looking at my edited multicam sequence, all the switching is kept and I've effectively made heaps of green screen shot updates in one hit. I could have had someone else working in After Effects while I was cutting the original multicam edit and saved heaps of time. Making another version of the multi-clip sequence is as simple as duplicating your first one, renaming it so you know what version it is, then recutting it from the beginning. You can also drop the setup sequence onto another track, target that track, open up the multicam monitor, and then edit another version on that track only. You can then keep bits you liked in this one and edit together a combination of the two. For more hints, tips and tutorials on Premiere Pro CS3 and other multimedia tools, keep an eye on creativecow.net. My name's John Barry. Ciao for now.